Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Tuesday, September. Okay. And here, this man. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. I'm going to take the attendance. So please turn on your cameras and respond present when you hear your name, okay? Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto. I can hear you. Turn on your microphone, Carlos. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, welcome. David Alonso Mejia Flores. Present. Okay, welcome. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Evelyn Janet. Glendy Elisette Flores Ramirez. Present. Okay, welcome. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Okay. Isaura Evelia Vázquez de Ponce. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño. Jacqueline. Teacher present. Yo creo que ya me llamó, pero está lloviendo fuerte acá. Me falla el internet. Oh, yes, Carlos. Yes. But I saw you there. Okay, no problem. 
Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Okay. Cameras people. Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizabal. Natalie Rebeca Peña Valiente. Present teacher. Okay, remember that you have to write your full name, Natalie. When you register, please. Nubia Cristina Morales Benavides. Oh, I'm sorry. Jodir Omar Soriano Leiva. Present teacher. Okay, Jodir, your full name, please. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Rebeca Jonel Hernández Castellano. Rebeca. Renato Salvador Ramírez González. Okay, Evelyn, I saw your message. Renato. Oh, just for the. Okay, Evelyn, I'm gonna. Okay, Evelyn Janet Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay. René Giovanni Martinez. Ruth Marielo Samaya. Saúl Alexander Lozano. Present. Okay. And Silvia Tatiana Acosta. Wow, oh, too many. Esaú Ismael Tobar, Jacqueline Rebeca, Cermeño, Marco Antonio Quijano, Nubia Cristina Morales. Rebeca Yonel Hernández, Renato Salvador Ramírez, René Giovanni Martínez, Ruth María Lozamaya, Silvia Tatiana Costa, Martín. Silvia is there, respond please. Silvia. Hi coach. Okay, I understand that you use coach some some other places. But I prefer teacher. <laughs> Sorry, <clears throat> I am an old man and I have pilas de viejito, so I prefer to be called teacher. <laughs> okay, welcome. Uh, Renato is joining the class right now. Let's see. Okay, let me, Renato, Salvador Ramirez, can you say present? Present, teacher. Okay. Okay, well, last class, there were some statements that you have to, that you had to complete, actually. Talking about uh, information about yourself. Well, let me see. These sentences, remember? I don't know if you did it, if you finished with this or not. Okay. This. During my childhood, da -da -da -da, you have to complete this statement using the the simple past or the past continuous. Yeah. I met my best friend while when I was going to elementary school two years ago. 
last year. Remember, did you finish this? Well, if not, I will give you a few minutes to do it, okay? Write real interesting information about you. All right? I will give you 10 minutes to, to do it. And later, I will send you to working groups to talk about your your information, your sentences, and later we'll come back here and I will ask you to tell us one or two sentences about you. Okay? So let me share this again. There in WhatsApp to oh. okay, there you have complete these sentences with interesting information about yourself. Use the simple past or the past continuous. 10 minutes running now. When you finish, Write in the chat, please. In Zoom, write down. I will know that you finished.
Okay, Saura, she's done. Okay, two more minutes, people. Two minutes only, okay? Um, well, remember that simple past is to describe, I'm, I'm responding to Carlos because he's asking me about sentence. Uh, simple past is to describe activities that began in the past and finished in the past. Okay. In past continuous, okay. we describe a continuous action in the past. No. Mm. But anyways. Okay. I'll send you to working groups to practice, okay? To read your sentences to your classmates, to talk about your childhood. Okay. Have a conversation talking about your childhood, okay? Or... Uh, um, your 
experiences in the past. And later we are going to come back to hear your sentence. Okay. So join the breakout rooms, please, and have a conversation about your information. Last night, the Zoom just took me off the class. Oh, you're here. Yeah. You're still here. Yeah. Try to join the breakout room. I already sent you an invitation. Oh. Well, you should be talking. Okay, you don't. Elemental, quiere decir. Elementary. When I was going, when I was going to work in charter school, I worked at the same, uh, at the nights in a body shop. 
years ago. No, I was I was fixing my car. I was fixing my house two years ago. I don't know is the, the, the last one. Your career. Yes, I yes, I finished. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. It's very hard to yes. study at um, at the university. <laughs> study and work. Wow. It's very yeah. difficult. Study and work. Okay. So I want to hear about you. Tell us about you. Who wants to start? A couple of sentences. You don't need to tell me everything. Just a couple of sentences. Okay, Francisco. Uh, okay. Uh, dur during my childhood... I was playing soccer uh, in the street. Okay. That's... Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, Francisco. 
pass the ball to another classmate. Choose another classmate. Uh, Rebecca, Janel Hernandez. Okay, Rebecca. Uh, I'm not sure. I think she's working. Yeah, I think she's at work. Just listening. Okay. Someone else, please. Saul Alexander. Okay, Saul. Tell us about you. Yeah, teacher, but I got a question. Uh, this, this we went, we may do him by a pass. Past participle or in in a... well, you it doesn't matter. Yeah, you could use simple past or past continuous, but the person, yeah, depends uh, yeah, on what I you're saying. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I use you use just uh, call me if you if I'm good. You okay. uh, go ahead. I was living in a in a nice place during my childhood. Okay. And then uh, uh, the number two, two, or one more, one more. With the same work or, or this or the or another another one. With the number two or the number two. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, number two. I I. I met my best friend while we were working. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So we'll pass the ball. Um, I think um, it's Saura. I don't know. Huh? Okay. Saura. Okay. During my childhood, I play soccer with my cousin. I met my best friend while I was in my mom's belly and so was she. When I was going to elementary school, I studied hard to get good grades. Two years ago, I visited many places with my friend. Last year, I started studying English. Okay, very good, very good. Pass the ball, is over. Okay. Uh, Evelyn Janet. Okay, Evelyn. <laughs> okay. Uh, I during my childhood, I was very happy because the Christmas shared my family. Uh, I meet uh, my best friends while I was studying in the university. Um, when I was going to elementary school, I being a child. Uh, two years ago. To was started the construction of my house, and in last years I started as started a study uh, why English online tells the that. Okay, good. Okay. Pass the ball, please. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I Mm. A ver, eh, Odir Soriano. Ok, Odir. Ok, and during, during my chi childhood and when I started my high school classes, and I met my best friend, why I, I played when I was going to element element elementary school I never received English um two years ago I learned English um in academy and last year I was study but uh, out, out for work okay pass the ball there There, choose another one. Carlos Alberto Martinez. Okay, Carlos. Okay. 
Carlos. It seems he's having internet problems or another one of here. Okay, Natalie Rebecca. Okay, Natalie. Okay. Uh, during my childhood, I like to play jacks with my cousin. And I met my best friend while she studied at the same school, but I went to higher level. When I was going to elementary school, my classmate joked about hiding the backpacks. And two years ago, I learned to drive a car. And the last year, I went to San Miguel for the first time. Okay. Pass the ball, please. Luis Fernando Linares. Okay, okay Luis. Hi. Uh, give me a second, please. Uh, sorry. Um. Yeah. yeah. Can you? Uh, hi. Uh. Is uh. I can. I need to read the file, right? Uh. We're working on this. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Well. Uh. Oh. Okay. And uh, during my childhood, I. I played um I played soccer with my friends every day in the school and in my neighborhood. And well, I met my best friend and uh, while I I was playing a soccer match uh in in my neighborhood. Um he he is a goal keeper and I uh, and I have a uh, a striker. Okay. And when I was going to elementary school, I um I suffer bullying to my my schoolmates, but well, my best friend is uh, a great uh, well, is a great friend actually because he support me every time. And well, two years ago, um, I was working. I I start to work in a call center. Okay. Okay. And, and mm -hmm. well, in the last year, I I was begin the this the English class in in support. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, one more. Pass the ball with another classmate. Well, um, let me see. Uh, um, Renato Ramirez. Okay, Renato, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, when I was a child, I liked to play soccer every day. I meet many friends because of playing soccer. Some of them even continue with the friendship to these days. When I went to a friend's house, I liked to play with his PlayStation. We always finishes the homework quickly to play. Um, I have no practice. Uh, this is poor for three years due to the pandemic, but I hope to play again soon. Okay. Okay, people. Anyone else want to participate? Okay, just remember uh, the difference between past continuous and simple past, okay? We use uh, past continuous, let me enlarge. Okay, we use past continuous uh, for an action in progress in the past. Okay, for an action in progress in the past. 
For example, while I was studying elementary school, uh, I had an accident. Okay. At school. Or what? Uh, during my childhood, I lived in uh, another country. During my childhood, well, that is but simple past because remember that simple past is to describe a completed act. Okay, so that is the big difference between simple past and past continuous. Past continuous describes an action that took some time in the past. And simple past is a completed action in the past. Okay, so be careful with that. And also, uh, some of you said something like this let me let me write it i maybe because of the hurry i don't know but uh, last year for example i was work in a factory. This is incorrect, okay? This is oh, this is simple past, so we don't need to use I was worked. No, last year I worked in a factory. Or you could say I was working in a factory. Last year I was working in a factory. So that is correct. But not I was worked or I was being. No. Uh, oh, I, oh. Okay. I was working, I was two years ago. For example, two years ago, I lived in San Salvador. Or two years ago, this is Correct to I was living in Salvador. So this okay, but you have to make the difference, okay? When we use simple past, the simple past, the verb in simple past only. That's all you need. We use past continuous, is the verb being past and the present participle. The ING form. Okay. Any question, people? No, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, just let me let let's practice this pronunciation. Activity for contrastive stress. Contrastive stress. It says you can change the meaning of a sentence by stressing different words. Remember, the stress is uh, when you emphasize a particular word let's take a look to this example i've been studying journalism 
I've been studying journalism. That's the normal stress. Now look at these examples. Has your brother been studying journalism? No, I've been studying journalism. You see the stress is here to make a contrast. Because you're trying to clarify that it's not your brother, that is you who have been studying, uh, who has been studying journalism. Okay. Has your brother been studying journalism? No, I've been studying journalism. Are you going to study journalism? No, I've been studying journalism. Okay, I'm not going to. I have been studying journalism. Have you been teaching journalism? No, I've been studying journalism. So I haven't been teaching. I have been studying. Have you been studying literature? No, I've been studying journalism. Okay, so the emphasis of the stress goes to where you want to make a contrast. All right. Good. Well, we don't have time for this. We may try this tomorrow. There are some questions to practice with a classmate or with different classmates. Okay. Just let me show you these questions. Let's analyze these questions. We're, we're going to use them tomorrow to talk. Try to respond them by yourself there. Have you been doing anything exciting recently? Are you studying anything right now? How long have you been studying? It? Have you met anyone interesting lately? Who is your best friend? How did you meet? Where were you living 10 years ago? Did you like it there? What do you remember about it? Have you been saving up to buy anything special? How long have you been saving up for it? Okay, so I uh, I want you to respond these questions for you uh, with, with real information about you because tomorrow we are going to use them to practice, okay? Asking questions to each other. All right. So, if you ask me, have you been doing anything exciting recently? Uh, not really. I haven't been doing anything exciting recently. Uh, are you studying anything right now? Me. To be honest, no, I'm not studying anything right now. Have you met anyone interesting lately? Wow, my life is kind of boring. <laughs> no, I haven't. I have not met any anyone interesting lately. No. Where were you living 10 years ago? Well, 10 years ago, I was living... Here, the same place, the same house, the same neighborhood. <laughs> okay. Did you like it? Yeah, I like it. I like it then. I like it now. Have you been saving up to buy anything special? Well, yeah, I've been saving up to uh, make a trip to travel. Right. How long have you been saving up for it? Oh, I've been saving 
this year, right? So take seven months to travel. I wanna go to on a tour to to Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Okay, so that's me. So I want you to respond to questions about you. Take notes, write your answers. So tomorrow we are going to use them to practice in. Okay. Okay. Very good. So we still have a couple of minutes. You can start working on that. Or let me, I will share this to WhatsApp. Okay. For this, let me. Okay, let me put these questions in WhatsApp. So you can have them at hand. There you go. Okay, people, respond those questions and tomorrow we are going to use them to practice. Okay. Have a good night then. Okay, teacher, good night. Good night. Good night. And okay, see you Thank you. Have a great night. You're welcome. Bye-bye, everyone. Good night.